Namaste, everyone. Good morning, and welcome to the morning session. Sabhi ko namaste. Good morning, and welcome. We are doing UHB three, and in UHB three, we are up to lecture thirteen. We are talking about the higher activities of the self, and we've been talking about these activities for some time now: contemplation, understanding, and realization. Contemplation has to do with seeing my role, my participation, my relatedness with every unit, and what is my role with them in my interaction. Understanding has to do with seeing the innateness of every unit, that it is self-organized, and being self-organized, then it is participating with the others in harmony. so there is a harmony there is an inherent harmony among the units and i can see that within myself also when it comes to seeing you know or the activity of realization seeing the coexistence of all the units we are able to see the that all the units are submerged in space and this is the basis for the characteristics of the relatedness the inherent harmony the inherent energy with which they are active and with that we can see that this being submerged in space the relationship is already there my relationship with every unit is already there and also that all these units they are in coexistence so with that yesterday the assignment came very late but then for those of you who were able to take a look at it and reflect on it a little bit or even if you can do that now we said that we can reflect on the higher activities within oneself and try to see our role where we stand where is our focus so for example in the case of the activity of contemplation we'll just take the activity of contemplation so in the activity of contemplation do i see my relatedness with every unit and my role my participation or is my focus on how things should become better outside or how the others should change in my interaction So you'll find that if my focus is on how others should change, how things should be better, then I'm constantly complaining about things, about others, about things outside. But as I start seeing my role, the complaints stop because now I can see that I have a very definite role to play. So rather than just try to have things change outside i can ensure my feeling within me and then work on seeing my role my participation and make effort for that that is more satisfying for me so are we able to see this in our day to day life are we able to see this in our interactions with others are we able to see this in you know in the whole day how much time do we spend or how much energy or how much our focus is on changing things outside and how much is on making effort within this makes all the difference to our happiness or unhappiness if 
if we are able to see this then we can see where we need to focus where we need to make effort so if anybody would like to share their observations on this or if there are any questions regarding this we can take them now namaskar madam namaskar to all madam uh, in my observation uh, not only yesterday uh, from the beginning my uh, observation of my relatedness with all the four units uh, is continuing so regarding the physical order uh, how uh, people are uh, uh, are in myself suppose different uh, forests are being uh, deforested uh, and the physical order how it is being disturbed uh, so previously how the society is uh, uh, happening like this like that i was thinking but now in spite of that how can i be in harmony and uh, being in harmony how can i make them in uh, means what helping them in uh, not doing that that i have been uh, uh trying madam not only in physical as uh, mm -hmm. some of our co explorers uh, shared uh, regarding plastic uh, i'm trying to uh, i'm trying not to use uh, in my home and outside also outside people even though they like to give uh, i tell them please don't give it looks very uh, simple but uh, it causes a great ha harm uh, like that uh, environment wise and people uh, uh, regarding people's behavior also previously i was largely affected and why are these inequalities uh, and uh, uh, previously i was in uh, different isms also fighting uh, in the sense uh, uh, in those uh, uh, groups i can say maybe communism maybe like that maybe in spiritualism also last uh, uh, i uh, means uh, i want to do something from outside actually later i learned first of all i have to improve myself seeing harmony everywhere and then i can uh, make the things uh, better i learned madam as a whole i have told you yeah i will just mention here a few things like Thank you. when you say when you say with the physical order oh uh, yes madam now when you say that you are now focusing on getting people to see what they should not do rather than do that i should focus on what i can do yeah yeah madam that i am trying rather than try to, again if we are telling others what not to do we are trying to change them isn't mm. it mm, yeah really yeah so our focus can be on what i can do to begin mm. with mm -hmm. yeah so first thing i can do is have the right feeling for those who are doing these things yes ma'am yeah. what happens is we have a certain view point mm. and we can we may have this you know in our thoughts that um, for nature this is important we should not use plastic yeah but then with that what we see is now we see our relatedness with nature but sometimes we don't see our relatedness with those who are disturbing the nature yes madam isn't it yes so yes. then we we try to change them but in the back of that our feeling is one of opposition how yeah, they yeah. can like this they should not so there the problem is that i am still trying to change the outside so mm. i need to be aware of my own feeling first of all if i have relatedness with nature i also have relatedness with all the other human beings even those with different opinions than mine even those who lack understanding all of them if i can see that then first thing that will happen is i will ensure my feeling that will lead to happiness otherwise what's going to happen is if my feeling is not ensured i am working with the feeling of opposition no matter how hard i try 
I am still trying to get the outside to change. Because and I can't do better also. Ah. Uh, because and with that feeling, I am unhappy. Definitely, madam. So I am not able to rightly evaluate others also properly. So first thing is work on our own feeling, work on our own competence, and with that, then trying to make effort outside, seeing my participation, making my effort. Right? Yeah, really, madam. Yes. Nice. Thank you, madam. Nice. Very nice sharing. Anybody else would like to share their observation or any question? Namaste, Didi. Namaste. Namaste, Sabhiko. Yeah, Didi, I would like to share an observation of yesterday. Actually, yesterday, a very small lizard came to my house. And very small. And it was on the floor. And you know, on white floors, it is very clearly visible if something is moving. So earlier, if I talk about myself only, earlier I was you know, like, you know, how, how can this lizard come inside? So in one way or other, this lizard should go, should go out. This was my feeling earlier. But yesterday when I saw that lizard, I could feel that the lizard was also very disturbed. Oh, where am I? <laughs> And my daughter was like, Mama, how, how can this lizard be here? So my mother is also here. She told Vita, she is also equally disturbed. Just like, you let her, give her some time. It will find its own way outside. So just don't kill her. Her father was not there. So he, he would have killed that lizard child. But then she was there just sitting and observing that, yes, it is trying to go out, finding some way moving here and there under the door and then I don't know where it went but uh, yesterday I could see that how many of us we do not let even small insects, lizards, if there is a house fly or a you know, lizard and any, any other insect we just want to kill. Most of the times I have seen that the intention is to kill the insect which is inside the house yeah, rather than give it, yeah rather than give it some space so that it finds its way on its own outside. Because the insect or the lizard, it is also not very comfortable inside. Nice. So this is what I observed yesterday, that we can let the small, small insects and lizards and all these things to find their way out on their own instead of you know, we guiding them where to go. True. So this is what, what I observed yesterday. Very nice. A lot of times you will find, you know, we have our own preconditionings. Yes, so yes. Many people have this preconditioning that owl means bad omen. So if they see an owl in their premises, they are out to kill the owl. I, you know, how did the owl become a symbol of bad omen? Some story will be there behind it. Some preconditioning yes. is there. And with that, we are just randomly doing this. Even when it comes to snakes, you know, snakes in say your yard or you you have a farm or a house where you have open area. It is possible for snakes to come in and go out. Yes. See, we have put the boundary that this is my house. For a snake or a bird or a, any animal, you know, this boundary doesn't mean much. That I have put, that this much is my space. But in fact, you know, you can't stop the bird from flying into your space. <laughs> yes, so, yes. Uh, so you can see that, you know, even for the snakes, there may be many, many snakes. In fact, most snakes are non-poisonous. Yes. And the moment somebody spots a snake, the first thing they want to do is to kill it. You, know, you don't need to do that. 
in fact like you mentioned you know these creatures they themselves will be more scared of yes. being in this kind of environment so they will move away you will find that if you just walk a little um you know with firm steps the snake will move into the bushes will not come near you will not disturb yes. yeah yes so when you talk of coexistence you talk of being in harmony with every unit with nature with human beings with everyone nice yes. thank you didi thank you okay so if anybody else would like to share something we can go ahead otherwise we'll move on uh, good morning didi good morning all didi uh, regarding owl i would like to uh, share my personal um, interpretation uh, means uh, uh, an owl uh, keeps on opening his uh, uh, eyes uh, and it appears that he his eyes are uh, open but in futility without any uh, uh, purpose that's a that's a general understanding so that's a message that uh, and it's a uh, uh, it's related with in uh, mythology or in stories it's related with the lakshmi ji also uh, a vehicle of lakshmi ji who is goddess of uh, uh, money so that way uh, means uh, with money uh, uh, or with uh, not having uh, means uh, taking not right and uh, interpretation or understanding about the money uh, if a person uh, keeps on uh, keeps eyes open and uh, and the eyes are open but it's in futility so that sort of uh, pseudoism or miss perception may be the indication of uh, this story i don't know didi that's th just come to my mind so i'm plain by sharing that's only my submission so, frankly it doesn't matter what the story is the point is you know are we just going to go with the stories or are we going to go with understanding no Under understanding didi sure correct correct so even with the stories there may have been some story at some point to depict a certain point Now, how it is interpreted by different people can be very different. So, different people will have different viewpoints. But this is even in the West. Sometimes I think this thing that owl is a sign of bad omen or something. Uh, you know, these are just preconditionings that we go along with without thinking. So, right, Didi. Ji. So that's why understanding is so important. Yeah, yeah. Uh, true, true, Didi. So, uh, in reality, uh, to my understanding, owl is a uh, uh, good bird, and uh, it's as good as uh, me or other birds and all. There's so, nothing like good or bad. See, this is yeah. what I'm saying. We pass yeah. judgment on all the creatures. This one is good. This one is bad. This one is not okay. This is okay. Point yeah. is, this is all part of creation. It is there. Yeah. Yeah. Existence in the existence, it is all there. Can I yeah. coexist with everything? Can I have the right feeling for every? Can I see my relatedness with every unit, or yeah. am I going to go with some preconditioning and shoot down something, or you know, have this interpretation that something is good, something is bad? Ji. So for many people, you know, it might be that lizard or something like that looks ugly and it's bad. but the whole point is you know this is also just the form that we are going with isn't it right didi ji didi so every every unit in this existence has a place has a role and we need to understand it. so if there are so many, so many insects you know in the in the rainy season now the rains will come you will find there are so many insects that come with the rain and they are um, attracted to the light in your house and also they come inside now if the lizards were not there these there would be a swarm of these 
but the lizards are able to feed on them and so on so you will find that every unit has some role there is nothing like a something that is good or something that is bad that is our own interpretation isn't it uh, very, uh, very true didi in fact i i use the word good but in the uh, means uh, what i wanted to um, place here that uh, he is as uh, as good create and uh, means as a creation point of view uh, he me and all stands equal that's means in one way in one way as a part of creation mm -hmm. maybe in terms of you am a human being uh, the owl is a bird but uh, he is also a constituent of uh, this creation and i'm also like that so my state stage and stage may be different so yes right right didi very right didi yeah ji didi i would like to also express one of my concern i'm in uh, i'm uh, on my family trip to some uh, northern part of india i don't want to be specific about the state uh, so uh, it's a hilly area and uh, i see uh, uh, that uh, there are very good a uh, big trees means tall trees and in order to take advantage of the wood of that uh, tall trees uh some of the trees have been burned from inside so that the inside is burnt and then uh, the tree collapses and uh, nobody is being blamed and that way they take out that wood so that way i, I was observing and analyzing that uh, we as a human being i'm also a party to it as a part, member of the society so uh, some of the uh, 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 some of the persons who may not who are not having that uh, specific right understanding so they are just uh, burning the trees from and taking uh, advantage of that so it gives a uh, mental agony and disturbance to me but again i'm as you rightly said uh, in the morning today morning also that uh, i have to rightly evaluate and uh, what can be my participation that i to explore and work on so that's the sharing i wanted to make jdd and the cause of agony is not that they are doing this the cause of the agony is because i am not able to accept it i have a feeling of opposition in me that is the cause of my agony so you know whatever the other person is doing certainly you know if we can see that it is disturbing the harmony we want to correct it but not at the cost of having our own feeling get disturbed then we are not able to rightly evaluate so first and foremost we have to look at our own feeling ensure our feeling our relatedness even with that person who is doing that ji and see what i can do to help reverse these processes so even a single man you know so many examples are there single people they have been able to plant so many trees so that negates it of course that other you know everybody needs understanding and we are working for that also so if you participate in this what is happening with the uhv group then you are doing you are playing some part you are taking part in this larger order and you are you know playing your part in this your role in this by helping in making others understand or making that effort to see that others understand so this is a very simple easy method that is available to all of us this participation see the opportunities are there we just don't see them we think that somebody else is the problem they are doing something else wrong and we are getting disturbed but if we do something useful creative something that will be of benefit to the society to other human beings in some way then that itself is a very rewarding experience then that agony is reduced so the participation part needs to increase that's when we will see that you know when we are doing our role 
that disturbance inside is less ji didi ji didi thank you didi namaste didi namaste all namaste namaste didi we namaste all this is a observation from me that uh, i was thinking before hand before it ehv that uh, why the insects and worms like um, mosquito and the um, lizard and all other thing other other worms are why they are created by god and it is to create the problem for the human being or they are helpful so now i have understood that yes they have a role in yes. the person in the larger order so therefore their existence is also necessary and god has felt it and so created so that was just an observation from my nice nice in fact now you know there is so much awareness these small bees the whole ecosystem is surviving because of some of these bees if those bees were not there that pollination will not happen and there is a whole cycle of events that will not happen yeah yeah and ultimately you find that if these kind of insects and you know like creatures small creatures are not there perhaps even our own survival may be you know in in jeopardy so in fact every every unit like you said has a role we just need to understand we need to see it good morning didi good morning good morning to all uh, didi uh, actually i'm the nature lover uh, we have our own garden in our balcony and also to adjust into our house when site is empty and uh, there is was a lot of garbage in that one 10 years back itself we cleaned it and we planted so many uh, flowering okay uh, uh, plants and papaya trees okay uh, drumstick so many we are okay we are grow we are growing all those things and yesterday while cleaning house has seen uh, ants okay they made a hole in the wall and the lot of ants were there i don't know what to do by that time suppose if i leave like that okay they will make some more hole in the wall it damages uh, so i thought okay what to do for 5 minutes i was thinking about it later i decided to spray insecticide i sprayed it didi mm -hmm. now okay what i did okay lot of ants came out of that wall and uh, okay they all died actually Mm -hmm. Okay, now I was thinking, what I did is right or wrong. I'm harmony. I mean harmony only. Suppose if I didn't do that one, okay, they are making the damage to the wall. That is my yeah. okay. Yeah. So if you are in harmony, you won't be asking this question. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did they really? Yeah, there are other options. One can see other options. If you put a little haldi, they will go away. Okay, Didi. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. So I didn't find okay, other solution. You were sharing, no? Yeah, Rather yeah. Rather than kill the things, we can see other options. Okay. That uh. if they go away, lot of times, you know, if when the rains come, hmm. their homes get filled up with water, so they come out and they go here and there. Hmm. But it, like in your kitchens or in your homes, when you don't want these ants there in your food and all of that. you just put a little bit of haldi turmeric powder mm mm whatever it is you want yeah and you know they'll go away they don't come there and okay. so like this there are many many options like this one can do okay and you find that it is healthier for us also at okay. least when you can see you know you, you can't spray these kind of things because if it gets into the food then you will be consuming that yes yes didi so then you can look for other options there are okay. many now there is lot of awareness about organic ways of mm. getting rid of mm. what they call pests 
yes <laughs> yes did that's what because i don't know about it i was th- i was thinking what to do what to do what i supposed to do at last because i seen lot of ants that's why i sprayed uh, yeah. that is our own stress and our own you know preconditioning that they must leave from here yes yes so whatever i see possible i do yes But now if we reflect on the coexistence and every unit my relatedness then i will find some simpler method yes yes it is possible okay but okay. wherever not possible and you have to do you have to do some things but you know as far as possible we will see an organic simple method okay didi okay nice okay thank you didi thank you okay let's uh, go further i think uh, we can we were talking about the activities and then we said we will do a recap of the um steps um go to the next slide yeah so this is where we stop or this is the slide that we wanted to start with so in in exercise 1 if we do a brief recap step 1 we are observing our feeling step 2 we are trying to see if that feeling is naturally acceptable or not step 3 we are seeing whether i am comfortable with that feeling or not step 4 i am seeing who is responsible and i can see that i am deciding the feeling so it's up to me it's my responsibility my feeling the feeling that i have at any moment is my responsibility now in step 5 i am trying to see what is the basis on which i am deciding my feeling or thought in relation to any particular reality is it right understanding of that reality or an assumption in the absence of right understanding so here comes your opinion regarding good bad um owl is bad omen lizard is bad this that ants are like this and all of that so you will find that we have many assumptions and on the basis of that assumption we have certain behaviors but we can see that we can have the feeling based on understanding also so it's important for us to understand these realities that are there so when i decide my feeling and thought on the basis of right understanding i decide in favor of a feeling that is naturally acceptable to me so i am comfortable with them in harmony in a state of happiness but if i am deciding my feeling and thought on the basis of some assumption some preconditioning it is not definite which feeling i will decide for in this case all these examples that we saw so if if i decide for a feeling that is not naturally acceptable then i am going to be disturbed i am going to be in disharmony so even if i don't do anything outside even if i don't kill the insect outside but i am creating a feeling that is not naturally acceptable within me then i am bound to be uncomfortable in disharmony in a state of unhappiness so you can see that it is my need not for helping the other creatures but it is my own need also this need for right understanding the need for deciding my feeling and thought on the basis of right understanding independent of whatever is happening outside what is happening outside is one thing what is my need within me that i have to segregate from that and see so within me i have this natural acceptance what do you do with it you need to refer to it if you don't refer to it you don't see even you are not able to make out this also that you are uncomfortable but somewhere 
it bothers somewhere that question mark comes we are not outright enraged that kind of disturbed but some some sort of discomfort is there within and so we question some of our behaviors but there also we can see that you know what would be naturally acceptable to me what is the right understanding even if i have not reached the level of the right understanding this natural acceptance is a very good guide this is available to all of us this we can use so next slide yeah so if i see when i am not awakened to the higher activities when i am working only with the b2 block like it is shown in the lower diagram then my desires there's no guidance from inside about any you know how from or what kind of things i desire for of course i desire happiness but it's not clear to me how to get this happiness and i am looking outside because inside i am not really paying any attention so from outside whatever i get that seems to be my desire in fact if you notice most of the time whatever is the expectation that i think is my desire so i like a car i like the color of a car the shape of a car now i want to buy that car why because i think it will make me happy now what happened here i don't have that happiness within me i don't have the right feeling within me so i'm trying to get this happiness from outside and actually just this getting this thing from outside i think that is my desire so i confuse my desire with the expectation and this desire is not getting guided from inside so i am dependent on the outside so based on preconditioning my desires keep shifting so i am you know in a colony where lot of high fi you know people who have who are very moneyed very rich and all they live and they have everybody has three four cars and so on then i start looking at my one car and i think okay i should also have three four cars i don't see whether i need it or not how many people we are in the house whether you know it is going to be utilized also or not but i just have it so like this we'll notice many of our desires are based on so many preconditionings outside but as we awaken to the higher activities these become our guide for our desire for our feeling so that's why when we say you know when you awaken to contemplation you your focus shifts from how things are outside to seeing my relatedness with every unit and seeing my participation with every other unit in the larger order and that becomes my guide for my desires so my desires get set right as we awaken to the higher activities my desires are more and more defined based on these higher activities and you find that all these higher activities are only talking about that i mean what is naturally acceptable to us that is uh before we get to awakening to all the activities this glimpse of the higher activities we can see in our natural acceptance so you'll find that you have a natural acceptance already for relationship for harmony for coexistence so with that then my desires get set right my desires are on the basis of this they are definite they don't keep shifting and changing yes next slide 
in step 6 of exercise 1 we are asking the same question which feelings are natural feeling of relationship or feeling of opposition feeling of harmony feeling of disharmony feeling of coexistence or feeling of struggle we are asking this question so that we can get that direct answer from within from our natural acceptance and we can see that these are the ones these are the feelings that are natural for me regardless of what is happening outside these are the feelings that i want in continuity within myself these are the feelings that are going to ensure my happiness my harmony that is the feelings of relationship and harmony and coexistence so i must have this understanding understanding of all these understanding of the relationship contemplating on the natural characteristic for all the units including my role my participation understanding the harmony this innateness in every unit including myself and how i can live with it and the coexistence to realize the coexistence and to see that every unit has a role in this existence just like i do and i can be one with it i can just understand this and live according to it so next slide so step 6 you can think of it as in two parts in the first part i am verifying that these are the feelings that are natural to me that are naturally acceptable the feeling of relationship harmony and coexistence and the second part is to try to ensure this understanding of this relationship harmony and coexistence within myself so this is how you know we went through this uh, in exercise 1 can we go forward yeah so once i am clear about this that these are the feelings that are naturally acceptable to me this is what leads to my harmony my happiness then all i have to do is ensure that feeling at least at this one moment i can ensure that feeling in line with relationship harmony and coexistence no matter what the condition outside so if i can ensure it now, now at this moment then i get the confidence that i can ensure it at another moment also and i can ensure it at every moment i just need to be aware and i can have or be in this state of harmony i can be happy at every moment which is what i want right i want that continuity in happiness so then now if you go forward to the next slide yeah so then when i awaken to these higher activities or at least when i'm on that path then slowly i start seeing my role my participation and in my interaction with other human beings in my behavior with other human beings in my work with rest of nature i am able to see the relatedness i am able to see or work for not just my happiness but mutual happiness with other human beings mutual prosperity with the rest of nature and now my complaints about the outside stop i start working on my participation towards fulfilling the human goal so that eventually we have an undivided human society and a universal human order and then this can go on and on generation after generation forming what we call the human tradition so all this is possible and again it may seem like big words but eventually 
you know this is what i need to do next slide so ultimately this is what is happening the higher activities as we awaken to them they are slowly guiding the lower activities and the lower activities are becoming desires are becoming definite on the basis of those desires my thoughts my expectations all come in line and eventually my behavior my work my participation is all with that guidance from the higher activities so again it comes back to me this work needs to be done within me within myself then i can start seeing the impact outside also it flows in a very natural way i will start seeing my role and i start participating in a very natural way just like every other unit is participating so if i can see that every unit is participating playing its role has a significant role in existence i will also be able to see that i also have a significant role and i will play my part next slide yes so ultimately there are two things no or three things whatever you want to call it with the behavior you are working for mutual happiness with other human beings with nature you are working for mutual prosperity and you are playing a part you are playing a role in trying to get to this understanding for all human beings the fulfillment of the human goal so that becomes a very natural progression when we understand things the way they are when we see how each unit is playing its role then i start seeing my role also in that next slide so there you can see you can open it up fully that on the one hand we are trying to reach inward trying to awaken to the higher activities within working for realization within at the same time with that guidance from the higher activities from our natural acceptance we are aligning our desires thoughts expectations with the higher activities with the natural acceptance and working outside so on the one hand is the realization within or even if we have not reached the realization working for realization within and on the other hand is the expression of this outside so you will find that as we are able to understand more and more the expression also becomes more and more in a very natural progression in a natural manner and so with this it is all possible the undivided human society we talk of the universal human order we spoke of and ultimately leading to human tradition so that this can continue generation after generation after generation next slide with this you can see that within outside of course some expression will be there but within also i will have you know these terms have been given happiness peace satisfaction bliss so when i you know am able to have my lower activities in line with the higher activities so starting from of course the realization i am able to see the coexistence nothing beyond that now it is all clear to me with that understanding of harmony in nature i can i feel very reassured i am in bliss that now you know i can see the definiteness that is already there nothing suddenly is happening just like that 
there is a whole um, definiteness to whatever is happening in nature and how every unit is self organized how everything is in harmony so this gives me a satisfaction a bliss this uh, reassurance and with that when i am contemplating on my role i have the satisfaction of doing something see otherwise what happens this is bad that is bad i feel helpless so i keep complaining i keep feeling unhappy but when i start doing something i have the satisfaction that i am doing i am playing my part then all that dissatisfaction because of the other tends to go away and i realize that the problem was not them the problem was my own feeling so i have the satisfaction and then all my this thoughts get aligned with that and i have peace when i have conflict in my thoughts how disturbed i become isn't it but when my thoughts are aligned with my natural acceptance i am at peace i don't feel disturbed i don't get headaches i don't feel so mentally tired and exhausted because my thoughts are not confused my thoughts are not um in contradiction with one another they are aligned they become defined better and then i can use this part the expectation part in a very realistic manner and have happiness within so all of these is possible as i start making the effort next slide yeah this is showing you know the what we spoke about as the science if you recall science of all of this you know what this how to go about things once we start seeing how things really are so here in blue you see nine things to understand that has been mentioned here the coexistence the harmony in the four orders the natural characteristic of the four orders or the participation so those nine things and if you look at the science of going about it so we said 3.1 that is the understanding the realization 3.2 then we are seeing you know my participation in that now what i am supposed to do in 3.3 my thoughts are going in that direction of how to go about it that how to part and then in outside no i am able to see it or i am able to bring it in my behavior with other human beings to 3.4 and then 3.5 when i am working with the rest of nature 3.6 in my participation in the larger order and ultimately this is leading to undivided human society and a universal human order and you will notice that this happiness this was our goal to begin with isn't it happiness and prosperity this is not just about me this is about entire humanity so it leads to or it helps with moving in that direction of where we can fulfill the human goal so this is about you know all these higher activities and what we can what is our role where we have to make the effort and all the details about that uh, ma'am actually i uh, my doubt was regarding the earlier question of uh, killing the uh, ants 
Hmm. So if we don't kill the ants, uh, then it will uh, just move to the other part of our house, and they again start disturbing us. So I think uh, my, uh, because of the self-regulation, that is nurturing, protection, and right utilization. Uh, so if something is disturbing us, then we can kill them. Otherwise, uh, uh, so for example, rat. Rat, if we cannot uh, uh, make them understand to move away, so it will come, come back again, come back. So other than killing, no option is possible. So even it is if possible to leave the thing. See. it depends on our own preconditioning also now we have assumed that anything that disturbs me it's okay to kill no so i will go with that but no my, my, my house, house will be disturbed my house will house will be maybe uh, some holes and then finally it will it will damage the wall and it will uh, for example a uh, rat means it will come and eat everything it will uh, poison that and many diseases are coming so i have to protect myself no my shelter my uh, myself <laughs> that what way will you do outside to protect yourself that is a big inside. question yeah, yeah i am not going out and searching for a rat and kill but those who come inside every day it is creating problem um, i should kill <laughs> yeah there is one more option i will give you you know there are those um, those things that you can use to um, trap the rat trap that you can use to trap the rat i have done that we have done that in our house sometimes if a rat comes you can trap it and then you can go far away and leave it and uh, so then you are not killing it but those are observing the people there so you have a choice i will leave it to you i don't want to get into a discussion regarding all this uh, it you know we have a choice basically Mm. we have a choice so what whenever it is disturbing our uh, protection nurturing etc i think uh, and yeah, there is no other option so there are many things that may disturb me what do i do then isn't it so if i don't understand that this whole existence is there that the units are there there's a coexistence that every unit has some role to play i am you know i may be disturbed by many things it's like a lizard i see on the wall it disturbs me now i have this presumption that anything that disturbs me i have to kill it that is a dangerous presumption no because depending on my preconditionings many things may disturb me so i will just say reflect on it you know these are mm-hmm. choices we make every day but we can make our own choices we are free to make our own choices yes ma'am but we can thank reflect you, yeah thank you if you can just put the slide for the homework part yeah so i'll put this in the group also i'll put it early unlike yesterday and uh, so we can try to work on this look into it reflect into it and we'll take your discussions observations tomorrow